Brand. Thank you, Acting Speaker. If South Yarra was to get a helipad built by a private developer to serve a few people who live in penthouse apartments before uh, its overcrowded train station used by thousands got a upgrade, it would represent so much what is wrong with our state's planning system, where populations grow just as like it's doing in uh, the Forest Hill area in South Yarra, um, but public transport and critical infrastructure like public transport isn't isn't improved like we're seeing uh, at Turek Station and the overcrowding there, uh, the failure to include South Yarra in the Melbourne Metro Rail project. Uh, we're seeing it in where uh, planning ministers um, either step in to change local planning laws uh, to approve buildings far beyond what was ever imagined for those sites, just like we saw at least twice under the previous government, uh, once on behalf uh, of one of their donor mates, uh, where um, uh, we're seeing planning ministers uh, failed to implement interim height controls as requested by councils, which let massive overdevelopments go ahead, just like we saw in the last term with Orong Towers and this, uh, in this term with St Kilda Road. Um, a strong planning system is absolutely critical to keeping our community liveable, where height limits are stuck to, where infrastructure is actually planned and put in place, and where political parties can't accept donations from property developers.